the University of King's College in Halifax. Nova Scotia has apologized following the release of an independent report that found the school failed to appropriately address allegations of sexual assault against a former professor and minister, Wayne Hankey. This apology comes on the heels of two lawsuits being filed against the university, Dalhousie University, the Anglican Diocesan Synod of Nova Scotia, and the estate of Mr. Hankey, who passed away in February 2022. The lawsuits, one of which was filed just last week, alleged that Hankey put his hand inside a student's gym shorts and attempted to reach the student's genitals during a mentoring session in the early 1980s on the University of King's College campus. The suit also states that the plaintiff alleges the university, Dalhousie, and the Anglican Church knew or ought to have known that Hankey had sexually abusive tendencies, but they failed to take any actions to protect the plaintiff. In February 2021, Hankey was charged with sexually assaulting another King student in 1988, and in April of 2021, he was charged with indecent assault and gross indecency related to the incident alleged in the latest civil lawsuit, as well as other alleged assaults against another complainant between 1977 to 1979. On March 15, the University of King's College released the independent report that found the school failed to address reports of Hankey's sexual assaults on campus and instead protected him. Worse still, the report recommends that the school make amends to Hankey's victims with appropriate and just compensation. This lead president of the university, William Leahy, to apologize for the failure of the school to address these issues and keep its students safe from Hankey's predatory and abusive actions. As this scandal and lawsuit continue to unfold, it is clear that the students and staff of the university and the greater public deserve to understand why these issues were brushed aside and not taken seriously by the university when they were brought to their attention. We need to make sure that similar issues are addressed in the future to prevent this type of behavior from happening again and to ensure that victims of sexual assault are taken seriously and that they feel they can come forward without fear of being ignored or shut down. It is likely that more will be revealed as this story continues to unravel, and the University of King's College and the other entities are held accountable for their failure to protect those who have been harmed by Mr. Hankey's behavior. The university's apology is an important first step in seeking true justice and reparation for those affected by this horrendous act. It is our hope that the University of King's College, Dalhousie University, the Anglican Diocesan Synod of Nova Scotia, and the estate of Mr. Hankey take all necessary steps to ensure justice is done and victims of sexual assault receive the support they need and deserve.